Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 2 versus 2 on Medere and in this one I'm going to be using the 2nd Infantry. On my team today I have Megumin who is going to be playing with the 2nd Armoured French and we are playing against Peaks and Lord Sunshine who are using the 1st SS Panzer and the Panzer Lair. So... The second infantry isn't a division that I am particularly keen on, honestly. I do find it quite difficult to use just because I'm not a massive fan of like arty spam and I really think that it's a division that can do that very well. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing during this game. Uh, but we're going to get down a ranger assault for each of these tree lines really good at the 100 meter range then we're going to have a ranger support for the mansion i'm also going to have to have some range leaders spread out i'll probably just need one for those two on the right and then we'll have one for the left that's the majority of my close range infantry sorted now we just need to think about long range infantry on this right side I'm also thinking about range of marauders, so let's bring in some of those range of marauders. Need to get some recon. Bring some in here as well. These guys can come all the way up to here and assist those range of assaults. And these guys can also come in and go into those that tree line there. I might also keep some range of marauders on this far right side, just in case any sort of vehicles come round and start to put on a bit of pressure. I'll have those supported by the range of supports. Need a lift. We'll put one into that tree line. Have one come up to here. And then we'll just have some standard rifles behind there. Okay. Then I'm going to be bringing in the mortars as well. So I'm tempted to go for like a 107 and a 60 mil at the start. I could also just go for one 60 mil and an M4. I think that's probably a better decision. So we will do that. And that's going to be all of our points spent. I think I might actually bring the M4 DD to this left road rather than the right road. Because from this position, I think it has a bit more sort of flexibility. We might be able to push through into this open ground early on and open up the field. We will have to wait and see. Okay, just letting the enemy know that I'm good to go. Uh, let's just make sure that we up, tuck up our units on the road. Just doing left click drag. Make sure they're nice and close. And that way they take less time to get to the front line and uh, you're a lot less likely to lose units as they reach the front line. Now I would definitely recommend not deploying units to the 50-50 if you are playing any other division than the Demi Brigade because the Demi Brigade they have the FFI Tractions which are the fastest, fastest off-wheel, off, on-road sorry, um, vehicles in the game and thus you can ambush people with the like FFI Partisans and the FFI Saboteurs. But any other division, um, the vehicles are generally not fast enough to get to the 50-50, so you often will lose units if you send them to the 50-50. Now there are certain cases that, that change that. Uh, it does quite a bit depend on the map because on some maps, it's easier to get to certain parts of the maps than others, but in general, it's a bad practice. I do have like a few on this right side going to the 50-50, but that's because I know that it takes them a little while longer to get here. And also it's uh, a lot less likely they're gonna try and force through this choke here, because that leaves them in a very vulnerable position if they do so. Same deal in the middle of the map. Like I know that uh, it's going to be difficult for them to get through these choke points. So I can deploy right up next to these trees and be relatively safe. Sir. I might unload this range marauder early just to see what's up. We can manually walk through here. 
Yeah, so there's a two, three, four, one. Make sure we get into cover. Gonna come aggressive. Interesting. Yes, sir. Everybody out. Okay. Lined against it in the end. Need some extra eyes, sir. Which is fine. Let's just unload these guys. As you command, sir. Reservoirs are full and igniter all cleaned up. Good. Uh, Ranger sports have been spotted, so we'll just pull them out of the tree line. And I'm going to try and move forward with these Ranger Marauders on the right. I think I might buy in a second M4, if I'm honest. I'm really tempted to just push through the middle. It's not something that people expect very often, but if there's AT guns covering it, then it could be quite disastrous. Right, well, we hit the 250-10 there, or the 251. That's probably unloaded some spear troops, so I think the Ranger Marauders will be spotted if I'm not too careful. I kind of want to just have them cross the river so that I can scout out this field using the like amphibious nature of this tank to get across this little river. This right side's actually pretty lightly defended. If they find these range of marauders, then I'm completely screwed. I'm not going to expect an M4 coming out of here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like, hello, there's an M4. <laughs> How you doing? Get the second shot off, please. Lovely. Okay. Maybe I can push up with the Ranger Assault. Now oh, that is a JU-87. Hmm. We do not have enough to buy in a P-38. There is a Bofors on the field, so quite good job there. Really good job, actually, uh, by Megumin to make sure that he had the AA prepped and ready to go. Uh, we I would like to continue to push through, but it's just kind of just to pointless to do so. If I don't really have any infantry to secure it. So, like, I'll bring up Radio check red one through six. Over. the rifles, for example. Yes, Let's just move up these ranger we'll assaults, and uh, if I can get them into one of these buildings, that'd be really good. I hear you. Loud and clear. A bit risky. As you command, sir. Have to make sure the command's going with them, because they might get surrendered quite easily. I'm going to bring up a M5 gun and try and secure the, the center a bit better. We just really haven't been put up at, put under any pressure. I really thought that we would have to use more artillery, but we haven't so far. Uh, Ranger Assaults just annihilated the spear through there. Those were the ones that were unloaded by this half track. Still no AT gun in sight. So that is a Puma. Okay. Not sure if I really want to engage a two-star Puma like this. Like we do have the like front armor advantage, but I don't know it just feels wrong. I, I think we're gonna lose. I'll move my Ranger leader up so I have command. That is probably a 250-10. I am listening, sir. Let's have a look around. If we can kill that. Or oh, weapon jam. Okay, that's no good. Yes, sir. This is where you get off. 
Well, we'll just retreat back then. And that is not something I want to do. Please do not engage. Rage and Marauders get into the tree line sooner than later, please. Okay, then what we can do is unload the M5. We'll move over the uh, Ranger Leader so we have the like start on that M5 gun. Move the Ranger Marauders up. They might actually spot the Ranger Marauders because it is a Puma after all. We'll see. Maybe they won't. Mm, can they see them? I think they can see the Ranger Assaults, yeah. The Ranger Marauders, they have the stealth. Uh, okay, well, never mind then. Being overly cautious, let's just move through the M5 gun then. <laughs> That'll do the job. We could definitely be investing in more stuff right now. <laughs> Let's bring up uh, another AT gun. Oh, the range marauders did not stick to the tree line. Shame on them. Hmm. Okay, let's bring over this M4. I could probably um, maybe put some pressure on this right side. Let's move the rifles forwards and see what we bump into. I don't really care about losing a rifle unit after all. Move forwards these rifles. Even that got weapon jammed. It's really rough. I'm gonna bring up some more recon. We'll also bring in one of the M7s. And then just a couple more rifles that we can use to push with. With A's B, I'm gonna make sure that I pick up some AA. That's the two, three, four, one. I wanna go home. Guess we're not pushing into that. I could always smoke this area off and then push forwards. One more kill. Sugar King. Sugar Charlie three. Say again. Changing position. Second platoon ready, sir. Right, let's just rush up this AT gun. I kind of want it to take out this 25010. Because then the M4 is clean to just like wipe out the Panzergrounds. Nice kill there onto the 2341. Let's just have a P-38 hanging about, in case an aircraft comes in. Speaking of which... Okay. Well, we did have the P-38 in at the right time, but... It's a shame that he got the kill. I guess he was relatively likely to do so. Let's now bring in the CGMC. Ooh, that's a nasty Panzerwerfer. Took out both of the AT guns and the command. Wow, what a strike. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay. Sure. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> okay. Alright, time to keep pushing through. We're going to have the M7. Um, engage those Panzergrands. It does have 1,200 meter range, so that is fine. Uh, let's just move out of range of the Panzergrands, and we are going to have to bring in some com uh, some supply. Sorry. Okay, 
Okay, nice kill from the M7. Uh, let's come up to here. We can shoot all the way up to the SS uh, Volksdeutsche, which is fine. Uh, I'm also going to bring up some Ranger supports here, and we'll start putting pressure on to the Panzergrands. Uh, let's bring up another one just here. Have that lightning get out of there. And I think I'm going to probably get Gabby, maybe some Thunderbolts. Losing both of those ET guns though really sucks. Get behind that tree line. I don't want the Panzer IV to kill my M7. And we don't want the CGMC to be shot by the Panzer IV. Thank you very much. I didn't bring it into that location, did I? It's really odd. Okay, well, M5 gun time. Let's bring that in. And I guess we can start pushing more aggressively with the Ranger Assaults, because if the Panzergrens do engage us, at least the M7's kind of there to attack them. Oh, nice kill actually from the uh, AT gun there. No recon for his Panzer IV. It's punished. M7 is going to demolish these Panzer Grands. <laughs> oh, it's not even firing at them. Absolutely baited. Uh, let's just uh, fall back here, maybe. Yeah, I feel like that Pim is trying to rush us. It's fine. We do have the <laughs> tree line to hide behind, so we're all good. <laughs> Bring up another M5 gun. Uh, let's send, oh, I was going to send my unit to the right side to repair my teammates. M8 spy, but I guess that doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, let's just move up this road and unload it. Hmm, that bait. <laughs> That was, uh, <laughs> yeah, very risky. Had we'll the M4 there the whole time. Nice kill. Ready to fire, sir. And let's bring in another anti-air. And I'll bring in the xylophone. Oh, interesting. The uh, Panzergrenz decided to push onto our side of the river. Let's have the Ranger Assaults do their job then. Or, or the M7 can just absolutely annihilate them. That works too. Okay, uh, let's move these Ranger Supports through. There were barely any units on this right side. Just hasn't been probed at all. and push up with the rifles. I'm going to bring in another command here for this M5 gun. I'm going to start to move this one up. That's the 2, 3, 4, 1 coming over from that side. Maybe bring in another AT gun. For duty. Hold position, men. Yes? Actually, that one looks like it's going to be able to get the shot off. I don't know if it'll get the kill. Very unlikely to get the kill, I think. I, am I could always move this ranger leader up, actually. that firing at? 
Oh, the Puma. Okay. Nice kill. I'm going to move this ranger leader to support that M5 gun. I'm going to move this M4 back to kill the 2341. Is that off map coming down? Interesting placement. Oh, we do have the xylophone ready to go. I think I might xylophone this area just to maybe dislodge that Panzer IV. Actually, that Panzer IV is the off map, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, since we have uh, two... Hmm. Yeah, since we have uh, two anti-air pieces, I'm very tempted to bring in, like, Thunderbolt Bombers and stuff. There goes the Ranger leader. First hit. Ish. Guess I'm gonna have to replace him. Let's bring in an M3 command. Go on, M5 gun. You can do it. Go on, M1 gun. You can do it too. Crew wound. Nice. <laughs> Ready, sir. Pretty likely to hit at that range, so. That was a decent kill. Pretty risky, because if he missed, then I would have probably lost the AT gun, but oh well. I'm just going to bomb this uh, Puma out of position. I'll bring in Gabby just to hang about in case enemy aircraft come in. And we are up against Panzerlehr and the 1st SS, so into the late game, their armor's going to be pretty rough. Bring my P-38 Lightning as well. Yeah, there goes the Puma. Are we going to be able to catch it? I think we will. Yep, we got it. I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just about. Enemy spotted. This is where they bring them in behind me. Oh, we might be able to get a side shot here. This would be really good. The Panther's just straight up reversing or fast moving away. Yeah, it's actually got rear armor showing. It is falling back. Uh, so we're not firing at it anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we might still get the kill if the uh, M5 gun can actually land a shot. <laughs> Missed that one as well. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh wow, okay. Another Buckwolf coming in. I don't know why. Bit of an odd choice. I just realized I don't have any Thunderbolts with rockets on my division. It's probably a pretty big mistake. It can be very, very useful for helping out with tanks. I'm going to start trying to make some room on this right side. With the 2341 gone, I can probably push. Because it's unlikely there's too much defending this, just like we're not defending it too well. Most of the resources seem to have come in on the left side. There's a plus one. We will win in six minutes and 35 seconds. We've been at a lead for quite a while. Let's bring in an M4 to the right side. I can move the M4 over. I've really liked being able to have this M4 actually move through all of these river areas because normally your tanks would be cut off from doing so. I'm going to move my AA over to the right. Move the M3 command up to assist the M5. Uh, let's get some more rifles on the field. Hmm. 
Mm, that's no good. Have the M7 come out and attack those. We can't really kill a panther if it's facing us. We might be able to crit it, but we're just going to lose that engagement, so I'm not going to bother. This gun ain't easy to move. He does start to come closer, though. We can maybe go for the ambush shot. I could also bring in, like, two bombers and just go for the bombing strike. Oh, never mind. We just got the side shot. Good show. Start moving these range of marauders up. Do need some more recon here. I love the smell of fire in the morning. Roger. Okay, well, that thunderbolt. I guess we'll just bomb the Panzer Gunfjörder. It was going to bomb the Panther, but we don't need to. That completely missed. Wow, that was like. One of the worst bombing strikes I've ever seen. <laughs> no way, Panzer Strike actually gets the kill. Okay. My my ranger support was just moving into that tree line as well, so that was pretty unlucky. The timing was just off. It's rough. Oh well. Still making ground. Barkman. Hello, Barkman. What is that? They're going to get hit very hard by a surprise M4A1. Oh, it's a speed through. Okay. Also, the double M15 CGMC doesn't really do much to help them out. And the push is in full effect. Can't really push too much further up the main road, although it does look like we just killed Barkman, so there's that. Oh, a nice kill as well from the M4A 376 there. And that's going to be our opponent surrendering. Range Marauders going to be taking out that half track for us. And I would not be surprised to see Lord Sunshine also surrender shortly. We really are rolling on through. Really? Anything I can do with this xylophone right now? Surprised how easily we dealt with the, pan uh, the Panthers. Yes, just some poor micro from our opponents allowed us to get the side shots on the main road. I'll tell you what, when I zoomed in here, it reminds me of Postscriptum. It looks so similar. I am going to have to play that game again sometime. Need some extra eyes, sir. Squad at your orders, sir. Eyes open for Jerry. Since that uh, Flock Wolf just retreated, let's bring in the Thunderbolts. Never mind. Our opponent is going to surrender, and that is victory in 24 minutes and 59 seconds. Relatively simple game. Uh, 1,865 kills to 555 losses. Mega Min also doing well with the 1,855 kills to 1,265 losses. I think what really held us back in the early game uh, making more ground was the fact that my M4 got weapon jabbed. I think also that because the 2nd Infantry is an infantry division, unless you purposefully put in more sort of motorized units, um, you do struggle to like push salience. Like there's no half tracks, for example, that you can just like throw forwards and hopefully make ground in order to win quickly. So you kind of have to take it more methodically. That's why I said it, it's more of a division that relies on artillery. If not artillery, then definitely airplanes. I'm going to have to make sure to put some rocket planes in this division um, because I do not have them and they are very useful. But in the end, uh, that M4 cleaned up those Pumas quite nicely. The M5 gun um, did kill the 2341. We were up against the lair for the most part. So in the early game, we did have quite a lot of pressure with that M4. 
Uh, also, this M5 gun picking off a couple more Pumas wasn't too handy. Took out Barkman, took out the uh, Fell Panther there. It looks like the Thunderbolt shot down one of Peaks's Fogwolf on 90s. Then losses, well, the JU87 popped the M4. Panzerwerfer, really nice hit actually. Ended up burning up the uh, M1 gun as well as the M5 gun. I don't know why the M1 gun wasn't or isn't on the losses. That's kind of odd. Uh, but yeah, we lost both of those AT guns. Maybe because it just died on its own. Technically like a environmental death it might class as or something. Puma took out those range of marauders when they revealed themselves and that panda strike. Cheeky panda strike taking out the M4 at the end. But yeah, like I said, simple game. Actually quite an enjoyable one with the second infantry. Not a division that I really pick up too often. But that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.